Boo. This is my terribly unorganized, disgusting looking skincare underneath the sink. I need to organize all of this. Let's get to it together. I keep this see-through makeup kit. It's not a makeup kit. It's like a makeup bag that I keep my like go-to skincare in. My deodorant. My Shiseido oil cleanser, which I use every night. Shiseido moisturizer. This works eye cream. I don't love this, but I've been using it and it's almost done. Belief moisturizing eye balm. No, belief cleansing moisturizer. What am I saying? This, that doesn't work at all. So I think I'm gonna get rid of it, but it's CBD recovery balm. A hair clip, my calming treatment for when I get acne, which I've been using this a lot lately. This CEO vitamin C serum by Sunday Riley. This is a sample, but I've really been enjoying it. Retinol number seven. I have the whole number seven line, which I need to make a dedicated spot. I only do my retinol routine once or twice a week, max. Another number seven. So I need to keep these together. And this guy always leaks. I really like this though. This is the line correcting serum it's eye cream which doesn't really work i don't like it it's from hey honey i don't know it's not really that nice but i'm gonna use it because i don't want to waste it and maybe i'll use it as like a hand cream because it makes my hand look really nice and juicy another eye cream love this one so bell skin rx this is their triple ollie go ollie joe i don't know how you say that peptide and a clean reusable cotton round. Sobel Skin RX, 15% niacinamide serum, so, so good. They did change it though. I like their old formula. This formula is a little bit thicker. Biohyaluronic moisturizing cream. This is my favorite cream. I love this one more than the Shiseido one down here, but they're both pretty good. Let me just throw like my favorite must-haves in here that I use every single night. So definitely my oil cleanser. This works because I'm trying to get rid of it. The eye cream. I've really been loving the Sobel Skin RX, so I'll throw him in here as well. Mm, vitamin C serum, I've been using this in the morning. What else do I go for at night? That's really pretty much been it. What I use for my double cleanse, so I'll use my Joel, Joel. Gel to Oil Cleanser by Shiseido. I'll use this on dry skin first to break up the makeup, and then I go in with a second cleanse with this cleanser. So I'll put those two together, and I'll put my deodorant in here. So it's easy to grab and now there's a lot less in here, which is super exciting. I also have this Victoria's Secret Velvet Petals Cream. I like it, it's really nice. My problem right now is that I'm using a new body moisturizer by Moroccan Oil and the scents kind of clash. This is like vanilla, not vanilla, but it's very nostalgic to me. It makes me think of when I was younger and used to put body sprays everywhere. It's very like, it's velvety, creamy. I'm very bad at explaining scents flower white sandalwood the moroccan one smells like too warm with this i don't know i don't like the mix together but this is my body spray when i come out of the shower i think i want a body moisturizer that's unscented so that i could wear whatever kind of scent i want after i hate this east 29th serum it's hyaluronic acid and niacinamide but it kind of goes on soapy and i don't really like it so i might just get rid of that honestly this has to go this is too old this is the pharmacy honey glow such a good serum it does a great job of exfoliating and getting rid of all the dead skin and just helps with pigmentation so but i didn't use this fast enough this is a cleaner brand and it's really old so i should really get rid of it but i would buy that again my boom boom cream i'm on the end of this and i'm honestly looking forward to trying something different which I don't have anything yet, but I need to do some research. Here's my little scooper that I keep with it, but I'm gonna finish this and then get rid of it. I'll make it a mission to finish it this week. Purifying scrub mask. I like this, but I don't really use this unless I have a breakout because my skin's really dry, but this is from Shiseido as well. Shiseido sent me a bunch of stuff. I love Shiseido. They have great, great products. Here's another scent that maybe would go good with my Moroccan one. Yeah, I think this one would smell better. This is good, pure. Good kind pure, I always mess it up. Vanilla ginger, it smells like vanilla ginger. So I think I'm gonna put this one front and center because it smells more similar to my Moroccan lotion. And then I just have these things floating up here. The best eye makeup remover, Neutrogena oil-free eye makeup remover, so, so good. I haven't used this yet, but this is the Charlotte Tilbury Collagen Superfusion Facial Oil. I should probably put this in my vanity, but I just got that other oil from Merit that I tried. 
So I'll go through that one. I'll put this in my skincare back stock in this closet and we'll open this one after and I'll let you know how it is. This is probably really old. This needs to get thrown out. This has like a layer of something over top of it, which is such a shame. I don't mask as much as I would like to mask because I'm lazy. Oh, it smells so good though, but this is the Black Tea Instant Perfecting Mask. I think it's old now though. Which, is this one old too? Probably. Mm, this is the Rose Face Mask. <sighs> I think I need to get rid of this too. This looks really old. That's so sad, what a waste. Also this Lotus Youth Preserve that is like old and decrepit has to go. I don't mask enough, which this is kind of good because I'm freeing up a lot of spots in here, but it's also sad. Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair. I love this, but it's a little harsh on the skin. Um, and I think this is old. Yeah, expires February 2020. That's gotta go too. This I liked for a hot minute. It's a little thick on the face though. When does this expire? This is the Cora Organics Turmeric Glow Moisturizer. It's really beautiful. I just... I think I have to get rid of this too. How sad, but look at this packaging. It's so beautiful. Turmeric helps to naturally clean the skin. So if you're someone that suffers with acne, I would try that. And it also helps to lighten the skin. So if you're someone that suffers with pigmentation, I would try it as well. But it is very thick and it is scented and it did irritate my skin if I used it in consecutive nights. You know what I mean? I would use it on Monday, skip it on a Tuesday, skip it on a Wednesday, try it again on a Thursday, but I'm trying to be more minimalistic and kind of just get a good skincare routine, not have like 20 different skincare routines. My body brush, when I used to exfoliate my skin, I need to bring this back. Really good for just getting the circulation going in your body and it helps to make your skin really, really smooth. Mm, this is old too. Mm. Six months, I have to get rid of this, but how much money did I waste? The L'Occitane Soothing Mask, so good. I just don't mask as much as I should mask, which is really the problem. Sunday Riley CEO Vitamin C Cream. I am going to try and use this. I'm gonna try and use this, but I might honestly get rid of it. I'll let you know. Oh, I have to use this before this goes bad. I was on this for a while. Cottage Greenhouse Orange Blossom and Honey Nourish Restore Replenish twice weekly. How long do I have until this expires? It looks expired to me. Okay, see, I can't. This is awful and I feel awful doing this, but I'm getting rid of so much because it's just not good anymore. My mom gave me this. I think someone that she works with makes this body butter. I'm gonna keep it. It's whipped shea butter and I liked to put it on my chest. I just haven't done it in a while. It makes my chest look really shiny and nourished and something that I like. So now, fake tan mitt that I never ever use. But now I have two of these free that I can put stuff in because all of my crap went bad. I have this Hask coconut hair mask. I bought a bunch of new hair oils because this one is literally down to here. So I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna put it in here because I do use it practically every day. Um, I like to spray this in my mask to help with acne. However, I haven't done that in a while, but maybe I should get back on it because I've been wearing masks more recently lately and I have, well, I've been wearing masks like this entire time, but more recently and I got a little breakout. So I'm gonna go and put this somewhere that I will actually use it. Another deodorant because I don't know why I have two deodorants open. I need to use this. Mike bought this for me forever ago and it's definitely expired, but I'm not getting rid of it because it's La Mer and I feel like it's fine, but I need to use it. But my problem is that I don't use expensive things and then they go to waste because I just feel guilty about using them. This also needs to go Kiehl's Calendula Soothing Hydrating Mask. So, so old. It smells old. Wow, what a waste. I haven't opened this. This is a super radiance resurfacing facial by Charlotte Tilbury. So I will put this with the other Charlotte Tilbury thing that I have not used. Some facial cleansers that I'm gonna keep because cleansers, they don't really go bad and I'm gonna use them. I have a Shiseido cleanser, a Sobel Skin RX cleanser. I have a lot of cleansers and I'm gonna get to all of them and I'm gonna use them. So I'm gonna put all of my cleansers in 
this little spinny guy. I'm going through my Lazy Susan and I'm gonna show you what everything looks like and how I organized it right after this. Since I put cleansers in there, I'll put my makeup remover in there as well. I have my Maraud Acne Spot Treatment. I'll put my other acne spot treatment with this. And I have my New Face Gel Primer, which I'm gonna go put this with my new face so that I use it because there's not a lot left in here. We have so many things we have to throw out though. This is like really disheartening. I'm getting rid of this. This is old and it made my face sticky, but this is the Kula SPF 18 Refreshing Water Mist. Great if you were wearing makeup and you want to refresh with some sunscreen, but it just, it irritated me and it was too heavy on my skin. This needs to go, this is real, really, really old, really, really old, as my grandma would say, Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair. I have to get rid of this. Shiseido Vital Perfection. I need to finish my Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate, which I am on like the idiotiest, bittiest bit left of it, which is so sad. And I get so upset every time I run out of it, but I wanna try new things. And this is going to be a new thing. Also the Bliss Clear Genius Clarifying Toner Serum. I use this with the spray that I was talking about for my mask. And this is really good if you have acne. So try this, give it a shot. And I like the little pumpy up top, but I need to actually use these things. I'm gonna get rid of this because I hate this and I should have returned it, but this is the Saint Tropez Self Tan Purifying Serum. It gives me streaky orange Oompa Loompa face. I don't like it, so I'm getting rid of this too. Teeth Whitener, I'm gonna use this today just so I can get rid of it because it's the last one that I have. Real Beauty Pimple Patches. I'm pretty sure Carolina gave these to me. They work really nicely. I'm gonna put them with my pimple treatments. And then I have a bunch of masks that I haven't used that I'm just gonna keep in this part of the Lazy Susan. And I'm gonna get rid of this because this looks old and disgusting, but this is really good for acne breakouts. The Apto Skincare Healing Mask with turmeric in it. Again, turmeric. I'm a big fan of turmeric when it comes to skincare. Just like cleaner products and cleaner skincare, you have to go through in a more timely fashion. And I have too many things, as you can see, to really get through anything. And that's the point of this. I'm getting rid of things so that I can truly, truly use things. Because what happens is, is I get try a bunch of stuff, I use a bunch of stuff, and then I end up just using the same things over and over again. So that's fine, but I need to declutter. Here's my little hair wrap that I use when I wash my face at night. Renew, because I can't see, I wear contacts. Um, this is probably bad but I'll use this, Jurgen's Natural Glow. I'll use this on my legs. <sighs> this is for my nose, which my husband's really good at using this. Oh, I don't like it though. <sighs> oh, I'll put it by my bed, so I use it at night. Sunscreen, um, a toothbrush that I don't need. Coochie spray to keep your coochie nice and dry. This is from Summer's Eve. I don't spray this directly on the coochie. I spray it on my underwear because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't trust things anymore. Um, this hairbrush that I really don't use. This is from Complex Culture. It kind of just like rips my hair out. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this too. And then this toner that I really need to use. This is from Thayer's. This is their Witch Hazel unsen Unscented Alcohol-Free Toner. I need to start using this. Let me figure out where I'm gonna put that. Okay, and then I have, oh, I have another Crest Whitening Strip. So I guess I'm not gonna finish them today, but I'll keep them together. And then I have this like little guy down here that holds all of my little like travel perfumes. I don't know why there's a pen in here. There's hair clips. I need to declutter this. And yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and reorganize this and show you guys what it looks like. I put all of my like things that I need to use next because I've opened them already. So I have some moisturizers, some serums. I'm getting rid of this eye cream because this is the one that I put on the back of my hand and I'm gonna show you the back of my hand, but it's red and it's itchy. So I'm adding this to the get rid of pile, which I'm gonna empty these out and recycle whatever I can because I can't just toss those out. I feel too guilty. But anyway, so I thought like we would try this again. We have makeup remover, cleaner, just face cleaner. Then you move to the next step, which is toners. Then the next step, which is serums. And then my creams are in here. So I'm gonna leave this here. But then in here, I have another facial cleanser that I use in the morning. And then I just have like acne treatment with this. And then this is all just like samples that haven't been opened that are still good, that are masks. And I'm only keeping sample masks because all my other masks went bad. 
And then up here I have my body brush, my Shea oil. I organize this a little bit so it just has perfumes, my teeth whitener. And then in here I have my perfume, Renew, sunscreen, cat ears for when I do my skincare, Listerine back there, and then my reusable cotton swabs. And then I have to clean this, which I'm very excited to clean this whole thing. But this is like where my rider dyes live. They just live on top of the sink, which I could do better, but I haven't. So it is what it is. Can you see how red my hand is? Oh my God, so red and I keep itching it. I also need to get rid of this tea tree oil because I bought a new one, that one's so old. These are just like my rider dyes. They look disgusting because they're very loved, very dearly, so please don't judge me. But my Youth to the People Kombucha 11% AHA, I exfoliate my skin, I would say every other night using this. And then this one is also in the mix. Kiehl's Ferulic Brew Rejuvenating Facial Essence. This also has lactic acid and helps to exfoliate. And it's just so beautiful to look at and it smells delicious. However, I'm trying to finish this one before I go back to this one. But I do interchange the two of them, if I'm being honest. But I use this one more just because I'm trying to get rid of it. I've talked about this. The new Co, this is the topical C, vitamin C that you can put into anything. It's powder. So you can put it in anything. I tend to put it in my serum in the morning just to help lighten my face and help to lighten any dark spots. So I leave that here as well. These two need to go away. I don't know why I left these out, but these are my travel serums. I have the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair and I also have the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate, which is my favorite serum. I can attest to that because look at this. This is the bad boy. This is like $130 for this bottle. I got it on sale during the Nordstrom sale. Down to here. So she's gotta go soon. And then I need to move on to other serums, but guys, if you have dry skin or any kind of skin, like this is a very dry oil. It's beautiful for correcting lines and really plumps the skin. I recommend this to everyone and everyone who tries this loves this and it's worth the price. And I'm sure you can find a Kiehl's sale on this right now. Marad Hydration Sensitive Skin Soothing Serum. It's really good, just a really light serum to hydrate your skin in the morning. It's very good on sensitive skin, doesn't irritate me. And then my toothpastes, just in case you're wondering, I use Crest Deep Clean, and then I've also been using Sensodyne because Sensodyne helps when you're whitening your teeth. It helps so that your teeth don't hurt as much. My dentist told me to do it. I've been doing it and it's game changing. Oh, getting rid of this, how sad. And then this is the Moroccan moisturizer that I bought myself during the Sephora sale. It's okay, it's fragranted, it doesn't irritate my skin, it's just kind of overpowering of a scent. But what I don't like about it is that it's not like super, super hydrating in my opinion. It smells nice, it gives me a spa-like experience. I love the pump, the pump is great, um, but I wish it was a little bit more hydrating. But I did buy an oil that I'm gonna try next as soon as I run out of this. And that is it guys. That's my skincare declutter and I feel really good about it. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the bathroom now so I feel even better about it.